Well, we're supposed to get some storms. I got to protect my babies. If you guys saw the icon, then yes. Yes, I spent some money, okay? I was in the market. I've, I've been looking at trucks. From, Ashley was like, we don't really need another payment, which we don't really have many payments, but we don't like to have payments. And my buddy had his truck. He wanted to sell it and trade for the Z. Then he backed out. Then he wanted to trade me for the Infinity plus cash and stuff. And I just told her, I'm like, I just, I just don't want a payment. So then I was like, why am I looking outside of what I normally do? Why am I not just going to the source that I always do to get my cars and just spend the money and get myself a nice truck? So that's what I did. And I am not sponsored, but if you guys are bidding all the time and you do not have autoauctions.io, you don't have a membership to that, you were missing out big time, okay? I, I got that. I did more research on these things before I decided to throw the money in. And I did, this is sight unseen, okay? I didn't, I haven't seen this. But I will tell you, fair warning, if any of you are bidding on trucks in Harrisburg, the Harrisburg Copart, I, I'm telling you, do not. Almost every one of them that looked like it was decent to fix up was a third party sale that had just been bought two to three weeks before that looking horrible. Somebody's buying them, rigging them up to make them look better, and then throwing them back in the auction and making money on them at that. They're making a couple grand every time. So I'm I think that's horrible. You're and it in Copart does nothing to deter people from doing that and they're not liable, the people that are doing it. So, uh, I'm just, fair warning, if you have autoauctions.io, you can see all this. You can see what it sold for. You can see what the previous damage was. When it says it was sold, you click on that price, and it brings up the previous sale. So, I mean, for a couple bucks, you can see all this and save yourself from buying one of these monstrosities that people are doing. Anyways, on that note, I need to hit the road and, uh... Go get this thing. I'm excited and I am nervous and I, I Spent my Z money spent my Z money on it This might be my, my last trip for old blue. Well white Whatever I'm gonna call her blue Go ahead and take your guesses what I pay for this thing drop them down below drop a comment <laughs> Have you ever walked a high pass, watched the northern lights flash, took a photograph on a Paris street? Have you ever climbed a tall tree, asked someone for mercy, gave something away that wasn't free? I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head, because I know that you were meant to be wilder. Another night of television while you're lying in bed, it's slowly gonna be the death of you. Have you ever? Pee on that. Ooh. Hopefully my old girl hair don't get jealous and break down on the way home since this is gonna be the replacement. Bought and paid for. Winning bid 14,600. Uh, final after fees 15,608. Oh boy, that's deep. This guy just bought this here just to tow with. <laughs> Look at that. And ask yourself this once Have you ever really lived? Have you ever used your hands to Build something from scratch that wasn't even for you? Have you ever? When you hear the waves are crashing Over Nazareth, man Don't you want to see them? 
Freaking air compressor. There's oil in it. It looks fairly fresh too. Alright. That's a sub. You hear it? So it just has an exhaust in the back, which is great. I was glad it didn't have a full system. Uh, oh, the tail lights cracked. Just noticed that tail lights cracked. And this side of the bed's been painted, and it could use a buff. It's just a little rough, a little orange peel, and this door too. But for the rest, that looks original. That's going to need painted. It don't look bad at all. Sounds good. So I knew I was getting myself into something modified. It's really not as bad as I thought. There is an air compressor under the hood. Not very bad in the front. Um, there's air horns on it. But 76,000 miles on this, it started right up, sounds good. The hood is bent just a little bit. Front bumper, the horns are bent just a tad. Radiator and condenser, no leaks. This thing looks good. Uh, I'm like very happy with this purchase. Uh, a truck like this with a clean title is gonna be like 36,000. Oh guys, pray for me. This is not going to be good. <laughs> oh God. Let's take the first spin up to the house. And it had a throttle controller on it and I unplugged that piece of crap. It was so snappy, about threw it off the back of the trailer. And that? Tires rubbed a little. A little bit of rubbing.
I'll tell you what guys this thing cleaned up freaking nice way nicer than I expected it to I see like a smudge here I don't know that needs buffed um right off the bat the very obvious thing on this thing that needs to change and a lot of you some of you might disagree with me but to me those wheels need to go First off, here in Pennsylvania, that's not going to pass the enhanced inspection because they stick out past the body of the vehicle. That's not legal. Not And the enhanced inspection is a little bit more tight. You just have to take pictures and they send them into the DMV. They can look at the pictures. The DMV does and they'll be like, they stick out past the side of the vehicle. Failed. Send it back. And then I don't get a pass vehicle. Uh, so that's one thing. Second thing, tinted lenses. That's not legal. <laughs> that's not legal. They are vinyls, but this headlight is damaged. It's got a hole in it over here. It took a hit right here, and it also damaged the hood. So right here, it's knocked in. So something hit it right there, knocked that in. It also put a small kink right here, and it bowed the hood. There's uh, dips in the reinforcement on both sides. That one's straight, and that one's obviously kinked. I think we can fix this hood. That doesn't look bad at all. In fact, it looks really, really good. I <laughs> wish I'd get away with it. This brawl on the front is what makes the front of this look so good, but that's knocked in right here it is. There shouldn't be any play. This is one of those clear those brawls that are straight up against it. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of slop there. Another thing that needs to go, it would be fun to keep them on there, but they would have to be repaired. There's air horns on this freaking thing right there. <laughs> The solenoid, which is just hanging down underneath right here, it broke off of one of the fittings and the air horns. They do work. There's an air compressor up here under the hood. There's a tank. After it pressurizes, if you hit the switch inside, it blows air out of that solenoid. But it's not getting into the horns, obviously. So, <laughs> there's that. The AC works. This thing blows cold AC. Not a single leak on it. Rust is minimal. I looked underneath, it has some surface rust, but it's minimal. This is a, this truck is in far better shape than my truck even when I bought it. So, like, but for a couple grand more than what I paid for my truck, like, five years ago, I got one that has half the miles that it did, 
I was bidding on a different one. I bid on an LTZ in the same auction that had a little bit more damage in the front end, but I could tell that the frame rails were tweaked. This thing's frame rails are freaking, they're, they're straight. The only thing is, them horns right there on the front, I might have to replace those. That's it. They're just, they're bent a little bit. The tow hooks don't even look like they're off because of that. Another thing, now this isn't a shock to me because I thought in the pictures, I'm like, that kind of looks like it was resprayed. This bedside, and I think the rear cab and this door where they're a respray. The top of the door looks very shiny. Down here, it's got a little bit of a dull finish, and this whole bedside has a dull finish. Now that can, I think that can be buffed and look a lot better. But I, this whole bedside, I don't hear putty in it anywhere. So I think if anything, they just either resprayed it because it had scratches, or it may have been replaced. But I just don't see the work of it being replaced another real obvious sign that this bed was painted um this thing has a chip guard on it down here you can see how it's rough from this on this side of the bed back there's no chip guard it's just painted the other side has it now i wasn't freaking out about the wheels because i thought you know some young kid's gonna want these so i listed them online i'm already getting trade offers i actually got a trade offer for a nice set of gm factory 22 inch wheels so i i don't honestly i don't really want 22 inch wheels but if they're factory gm they're going to be back in better and they're going to fit a lot better these running boards are like heavy duty very heavy duty the stereo in this thing is awesome uh it has i seen hold on a second underneath the seats the, the box is the whole back seat so let me lift this up this box goes the whole length and uh there is a amp right there i have no i don't know what type of amp that is but it's putting out some power but i'm okay with this box because it's underneath the seat so i can still put the seat down and people can still fit in there it's just going to be tight but i don't i don't haul people now i surely found out that this has this is an lt with the one lt package and that gives you leather remote start uh, the bigger screen, it's got heated seats. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, there's the air horn setup. Actually got a nice touch pad setup underneath there. And then it has like a start engine start stop button there the, that runs the air horns. And then there's another switch in here. And I think there used to be uh, lights underneath this thing. And it looks like somebody chopped off most of the wiring. So I think they took the lights off, left the switch in here. This switch is not doing anything, even when I do kick it on. It could just not be hooked up under the hood, but... And then this thing also had a uh, throttle sensitivity booster thing. And when I went to back this thing off the trailer, I about went full speed off the trailer because there was no modulating the throttle with that. It was like full throttle as soon as you tapped it. So I unplugged that and plugged it back in the way it's supposed to be and it's a whole lot better now i'm not getting underneath it in this episode uh that's gonna be in the next episode but i believe it has a Flowmaster exhaust it is quieter than my current truck which i'm fine with because my current truck when i'm towing stuff it drones at certain speeds and it, it's pretty loud but uh they got decent these aren't don't say Flowmaster on them but they look all right of course somebody went all over this thing with some custom badges red badging i i actually do like the the lettering they, they did uh they put red lettering on but then they covered them up they put black over top of it so then you can see that that looks pretty cool this lens is busted so i'm gonna have to get a tail light custom but this thing has zero leaks it runs and drives fine the tires rub because of the bumper uh, but while well, that end, they're huge. And then somebody did their custom designing all over this thing. These were carbon fiber with like red uh, reflective things on them. And they just, over time, just did not hold up well. And they just look like snot now. So all these got to come off underneath the door handles. Inside, they continued the theme with these mats in everything. These red mats. They have them inside of compartments. 
But the thing I like the most is that this thing just fires right up and runs great. The nice screen, it's got all the freaking bells and whistles here. They were a Pirates fan. Well, let's hear it. That's a good sound. Just deep. That's good. Now with this thing, the whole way down, it sounds good. As soon as you get off of that a little bit, it gets loud, okay? The bass in this thing is unreal. Uh, but the interior is very, very nice. They did LEDs. I just, oh, I'm, I'm, and then the oil doesn't need change for another couple thousand miles. This thing has 76,000 miles on it. And it's almost empty. Yay. But me and my dad had a fiasco trying to get this thing off the trailer because with these wheels on, it did not cla it didn't clear the fender wells on my trailer. It would rub on both sides. We had to take the spare tire off, then we went to take the wheel off, and this thing has locking well, it has special lug nuts on it that you need a key for. Thankfully, I had one here that fitted. It was the same key that fits the wheels on my current Silverado. So thank God, and I actually have two of those, so I can put one in this and then still keep one in that. But yeah, man, I think that cleaned up freaking nice, especially for something right off the Copart lot. This thing sat there for two months. I showed it, it arrived there March like 20th or something like that, and it's like May almost 20th, it's right around there. But I'm excited to dig into this thing. Like this is like one of the nice, this is, the nicest thing I've got from Copart and the nicest vehicle that you are going to get to see on the channel to date. I didn't even pop the hood. I mean, you've seen it, but I didn't pop it. Like, it's hot. So this thing needs a steering wheel airbag and the driver's seatbelt retractor. It blew that. It's really not that bad. I will tell you, when I was looking for trucks, I used autoauction.io for every single one I looked at and I it helped a lot and I cannot stress enough I, I was one of those people that was like I don't need to spend the money on this if you're looking to buy something like this you need to use that site so like repair estimates on a lot of the trucks I was looking at was like 20 grand was what the repair estimate was the repair estimate on this truck was nine thousand dollars it's it was 24 percent of the value and they still totaled it. So it's kind of questionable. It could be because of part shortages. I heard that they're doing a lot of that. But yeah, 24% of the of the value of the truck and they totaled it. And now when they do that, they mark all kinds of stuff up. But look at this freaking engine. Like it's clean and it has a K and N filter. Well, intake, the filter, I, I need to I need to clean that. Fluid level's fine. The engine's clean. My truck currently has a cast iron block. Uh, that truck, it, that's rare. I know not all of them had it, but my my current truck has the cast iron block. This is an all aluminum block. These make a good bit more power than what mine does. So this thing should, and that, and it's a six speed on top of that. So this thing's gonna tow a lot better than mine does. And now I just towed this truck home with my current truck from Philadelphia. That's where I won this at. So I drove to Philadelphia. It was about a three-hour drive straight there. And it, maybe about four hours coming back because we took our time. And stopped a couple times, checked straps, stuff like that. But it was, uh, yeah. And then here, <laughs> here is the air tank and stuff. You know what? I might leave this thing on here. And then I can put an an airline fitting on it and then i could run air tools or pump up tires with it actually pumping up tires with it that's that's a good idea i could pump up tires with that that's a great idea i think i'm leaving it so all i gotta do is you see this line right here this is the line that feeds down to the air horns and then there's a solenoid down there that lets the pressure out all i gotta do is run this to a an airline fitting and that I would need like a retractable airline or an airline long enough that I could just hook into it to pump up tires. That is an awesome idea. Why did I just now think of that? 
I mean, especially if this is going to be one of my recovery vehicles here, one of my ones to pick up vehicles with. Man, well, smart. So anyways, if you want to see more on this beauty, you're going to have to stay tuned and you're going to have to wait. Next week, I start on my front porch for the house. I'm not recording that. And it's just going to be like a little break from YouTube till we get that done. So there is going to be a break in my videos. But when we come back, it's going to be on this beast. So if you like this video and you're ready to see more on this thing, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think I should do with this thing. Hit that dislike button if your mom wants to ride in the donk. And we'll see you on the next episode on Wrecked. So depressed. What? Oh, big stretchy. Oh, grumbles. Oh, oh, look at you. Let me rub that belly. <laughs> There's the one waiting for daddy. You missed me. You haven't seen me all day, have you? Do you miss me? Do you want to say bye bye? Do you want to say bye bye? No? Alright.